You with the Jade Swan? Loading and unloading only. Stay clear of the military. Hold up. This area is for SY920 military only. Rules are rules. Can't let you in unless you're mil- It's true. It's almost more of a hassle talking to you. It's classified too, I bet. Sometimes I feel like I can't even tell someone my own name without declassifying it first. I suppose if you're quick. All right, fine. You're good. Just be quick about it. Hey. Authorized personnel only. Let's hope I see a Marine. Rules haven't changed. Authorized personnel only. No exceptions. Only designated SY920 UC military allowed. You're not even in uniform. Rules haven't changed. Right. If you were Admiral Pasquale Logan, then yeah, I would wave you on through. But unless you left your chest candy on your other uniform, you're about ten medals short of Admiral. Rules haven't changed. Access to the command bay is limited to SY9. SY920 Marines are hand-picked to maintain op security postings. We really need someone patrolling the areas. There's a little bit of equipment up here.
Bear's room. You got patrol duty, huh? Beat standing on your feet, that's for sure.
You aren't assigned to this level, Ensign. You need to leave. Ahem. Make it quick, Ensign. I'm busy with half a dozen spreadsheets that I'm pretty sure I'd rank you. And you know how the Commander feels about breaking the chain of command. She hates it. I'm sorry, Ensign, but I don't think you have the clearance for that. Especially when the pro- Are you kidding? Being a person puts you exactly at the bottom of the totem pole. Look at me. I'm an engineer, graduated top of my class, and I'm pretty sure the coffee machine gets more respect. At least the spreadsheet actually does some heavy lifting. Well, you've got a uniform, Ensign Akasaka. Just use the computer in the security office and look up the code based on your last name. Your clearance code, Marine. All right, Ensign, let's hear it. Your clearance, Nakasaka. Commander Natara, test flights for the latest prototypes are ready to go. Acknowledge, Lieutenant. Confirm that they are clear to launch. Stenson?
are. I don't know you, Ensign. You sure you have clearance? If you don't belong here, you need to get back to your post, Ensign. I won't ask again. for more personnel. It seems there was an accident. Ah, it's always something with that doctor. Not to change the subject, but are we concerned about the potential leaks? No. Until you can provide more substantial proof, we'll simply monitor the here are the real heroes. If we make an error, they're the ones who suffer the consequences.
I can tell you, but then I'd have to leave. Really? Couldn't you just trust me? No. Nope. Right out the airlock you go. But I try my best not to enjoy it. Intercepting transponder data in the Hoffa system might be promising. According to autocorrelation models, results in risk increased by a magnitude of... Uh, two. But we won't tell Commander Natar. What she doesn't know won't kill her. Wait! Who are you? Why are you in here? Did you not see the sign? Don't you mean access to the ship? Because the comm spike isn't a device, it's a module. It's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports. We're still in the testing phase, running decryptions across a variety of signal types. But the results so far have been very promising. It can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. Yes, it's not quite cracking the Enigma code, but it will give us a significant tactical advantage. We'll be able to infer everything from battle plans to meal consumption. Not that we'd care about that sort of thing, outside of the effects of diet on combat readiness. And yes, there are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts, and the occasional traumatic injury here and there, but it's all part of the adventure. Oh, it's ready. We're long past the inference stage. Statistical models can only go so far. And now that we've corrected the prior mishaps, it's time for real flesh and blood pilots to stress test the systems. The kind on afraid to make the necessary sacrifices. In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present our findings to Mast. I know you. Are you here to fly the comm spike?
splendid. That was fast. I thought I put in the request this morning. Normally my requests aren't given this much attention, let alone haste. It seems a tad suspicious. Classified, I, I'm the head of the Com Spike project. I would have gotten word of this. Commander Natara, you say? Oh. Well. Ah, yes. By the transitive property, you would be what I need. All right, you've convinced me. You're the new test pilot. You'll need a uniform and a terminal password to authorize a flight and get past Natara's cumbersome checkpoints. The uniform you can get in the locker room area, the password you get from me. You'll find the prototype ship at docking bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. And of course, best of luck. You are doing science a great service by undertaking this sacrifice. to Dr. Volk? I don't know. I've flown a discovery class, but I'm not familiar with the event. Pilot? Commander Natara doesn't have the backing of the scientists here. I'm afraid Commander Woods might be reinstated. The engineers and scientists here have a bit of a rival. Excuse me.
Guess why 920 Marines are handpicked to maintain off security. Most of us here won't work them. Type ship, you are not cleared for takeoff. What's going on over there? Unauthorized launch from engineering. All ships, secure the prototype. Got a bogey. On them. You got a new toy for me. Go on in and give everyone the lowdown. You see, sis, deaf is a joke. They haven't caught us yet. Make those credits. Some people drink coffee to wake up. Hmm? Always ask for a bigger cut. Nice to know Neva was right about you. It's good to have a promising rookie with the fleet. I won't deny I helped. Let's hope the compensation reflects that, huh? Anyway, I believe I owe you a drink. It's the last time I'm paying, of course. Because if Dalgado's right about Crix's legacy, you've earned more than your fair share already with that comm spike. Sounds like you're on board as a true believer. I have to admit, the way things are going, I'm starting to believe myself. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Now that you've had your drink, and my debt is paid, it's time for you to give Delgado the good news.
Ox Krog is fine if you like cheap moonshine. Give me an early brown dog. All those dirty leeches were just pests. Never consider trying to raise one as a pet. Imagine having your own to me. Jasmine tells me that you not only brought us the comp spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed. Should have taken the compliment, Rook. Dale doesn't give those out often. Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. She gave you some really high praise. Said you were a pro. And from what I hear, receiving praise from Juan Dayu is quite an accomplishment. All in all, a job well done. Now, on to the business at hand. Jasmine, are you there? Yep, I'm here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Com spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. Keep me posted. All right, that leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jennerdyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. We get our hands on their electrical absorption deck, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. It's the giant shroud that covers the entire city. Big, ugly thing that Jennerdyne uses to absorb lightning strikes. When you arrive in Neon, I'm sure your contact will fill you in with all the boring details. you damn right she can. My girl can piece together a jump engine with her eyes shut. Literally, I've seen her do it. Lost good money on that bet. All right, let's not get carried away, neighbor. Now, why don't you give us the info on our Neon contact? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. She's had her deft little fingers on the pulse of Neon for some time now. Whatever info you need, I guarantee she can get. Estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward, we all split the cash. No, no, no. There is no getting along here. You are going to do everything she asks. Follow her instructions to the letter. She is valuable to the fleet. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. I'd say don't keep her waiting, but chances are she won't mind. Girl loves her liquor. And keep your eyes on the price. Neon's one big distraction for people like us, so I want you focused. We are one step away from Quix's legacy, and we cannot afford any screw-ups. The fleet's the only family you need.
You might want this.